Hello everyone and welcome back to the Unexplored Mojave. The Army of Otters is here and today we're going to be checking out Walking Box Cave. This is recommended to me by Little Dre who is always giving me places to visit. So thank you very much for the recommendation, Little Dre. Walking Box Cavern is located west of Camp Searchlight and southwest of Novak and just east of Nipton. Now this is a location I did not know about. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it is surrounded by a lot of important locations, as I just mentioned. So let's check out Walking Box Cavern. So as you approach Walking Box Cavern, you're going to encounter a lot of Night Stalkers. Now these guys can be a little bit difficult if you're a lower level, but if you're a higher level, they can be pretty easy. Also, Veronica keeps trying to kill herself if you can't tell. And then here on the Pip-Boy, you can see the location of Walking Box Cavern, just south of Dead Wind Cavern, one of the most difficult locations in New Vegas. Outside the entrance, we can find a hollowed out rock, which will contain random loot. Now the entrance to this cave is very large, and upon entering it, you're going to find purple glowing mushrooms, which creates a very beautiful and interesting aesthetic for this cave. Definitely probably my favorite cave within Fallout New Vegas, although it's a little bit similar to the Good Springs cave. Now in this main part of the cavern, you're gonna find a duffel bag with some minor loot and some ammunition and some healing items. So nothing too terrible, but nothing too great. In the first part, heading to our right, we're gonna find this small chamber filled with a couple of night stalkers, but there are not very many. Also, there is no loot located within this chamber. So the only thing in here are enemies and some beautiful looking mushrooms. Now, if we head to the back of the cave, we can find a room filled with night stalkers. There are quite a few, so you probably want to bring a companion with you if you're a lower level trying to snag some good loot. And in the middle of this cave, we can find a duffel bag, which will contain really good loot, including combat armor reinforced, which is worth a lot of caps. So if you're a new player, this is obviously a very good find. And besides that, that is pretty much all there is to Walking Box Cavern, a pretty small but interesting cave. Now, Walking Box Cavern is based on the real life Walking Box Ranch. It's in the same exact geographic region, but Walking Box Ranch is actually quite famous. It was built by movie stars Rex Bell and Clara Bow in 1931 and it hosted and entertained many notable Hollywood figures including Clark Gable, Carol Lombard, Errol Flynn, and Lionel Barrymore. So it used to be a very prominent ranch within the Hollywood community and today it is owned by the United States Bureau of Land Management and it is on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. And today you can actually visit the ranch and do things around it. So pretty cool and a place you can visit. As I said, the real life location is accurate to Fallout New Vegas and it is closest to the city of Searchlight, Nevada. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Unexplored Mojave. If you have any recommendations for the next video, please post them in the comment section below. And as always, until next time.